Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming, and in this video we're going to open up some stuff for somebody's PSA submission. I'm going to kind of go over uh, something I showed in the last video, and then at the very end I have a little bit of a surprise for you guys. So let's see what we have right here. So if you guys remember, I read this note, and I saw red or blue, and I thought it was like a question, but this is actually the guy's YouTube channel, and... He mentioned that afterwards, he was a cool sport about it, but I thought I would just mention it again because he was very generous. He gave me you know, this extra stuff, you know, the bulk or whatever, and then he actually went into my registry. Let me point this down just a little bit. I actually found a card that I needed for my personal set, so I thought that was really cool of him, and um, <laughs> I wouldn't at least give him the proper shout out. I can't believe I missed the fact because he had e emailed me about it. And I uh, missed the fact that Red or Blue was actually his YouTube channel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put his YouTube channel down here in the description. You guys can see it in the very first line. Next up, I have a guy who submitted some cards to PSA. I'm going to show you his PSA submission. And then he actually has some stuff that he wants me to open. So we have these Venusaur EX. Got this Kyogre. This is a Korean um, guy, the Dragon Champion. And then we have two cards in here. It's an Agron and got a clay doll. So that's pretty cool. What I'm gonna do is before I start opening these packs, I think I'm gonna scoot this desk back a little bit. I'm seeing some like crazy glare. I'll hope you guys appreciate the fact that I don't have to hit this stuff out. <laughs> that's how lazy I am when it comes to this stuff. But I will be going on vacation here uh, two days from now. This video should be out on Friday. I'll be on vacation tomorrow when you guys see this. And uh, I may not have any videos next week. I may have one, so I'm excited yet. But these are the packs that he sent. He sent some double crisis. These have gotten really tough to find. Back in the day, they were fun to open. It's a short set, 34 cards. Ooh, I had to pause right there. Uh, sheriff rolled up in my front yard I guess somebody down our street somebody will end up on their front porch and, and they took off down our street somewhere around here uh, if you end up on somebody's uh, property you, you either better know them or have a good excuse while you're there unless you're the mailman or delivering pizza <laughs> but it uh, looks like they had us good, taken care of I think I saw two cops they, they're just going up and down our road trying to find out who it was but I might be keeping an eye out so if I have to pause again maybe I'm, I'm running outside to see who that was but <clears throat> especially since I've got two little girls and a baby boy and a wife sitting here with me but anyways we're going to open up these packs and man I hope we pull some good cards so like I said these are 34 card sets you can pull two ultra rares there's a team magma's Groudon EX and then a Team Aquas Kyogre EX. And this was right after Primal Clash. It was between Primal Clash and Roaring Skies. Primal Clash is when they changed over to the higher pull rates where you got about six ultra rares per box. It was, before it was about one, it was about four. You get one in nine, and then it was about one in six. And then with these, I think I calculated the odds out to be about one in ten for each individual card. So it was about one in five packs usually pulled an EX. And should still get a reverse haul or something like that but because these sets are so small it was easy to complete the set so we've got a reverse hollow viper we've got team aquas walrum there are no non hollow rares like other subsets you're either going to get a hollow rare or you're going to get the, the one of the two ex cards now one of these was really good i think it was this one team magma secret base whenever any player puts a basic pokemon from his or her bench or hand onto his or her bench, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. This is actually really good. Uh, a lot of people played this, and I think there's another one, the Aqua one or something like that, where um, it was really good for Drampa because it was like some, something to do with the damage counters. All right, so we're gonna check into the second pack. So he's looking for Groudon EX or Kyogre EX. You know, we didn't get that in this pack, of course, but you know maybe he'll want to uh, do some of these other Hollows. I don't know. But these were not distributed in booster boxes. I think the only way you could get these was it was a three-pack blister that come with a Team Magma and, or a Team Aqua pin, and the pin was actually really nice. Let's do three off the back. Hopefully, man, look at that. You can see the white corners on all those. This one is going to be where the EX is if there's one in here. 
Oh, maybe not. I guess there's only two cards off the back. <clears throat> I thought that last one had three cards on the back side. Yeah, it was just two. So I ruined that second pack. All right, so we have Team Aqua's Muck. And then we have Aqua Grunt, the Magma Secret Base again. And then we have a few other cards. Finishing up with the Reverse Hollow Celio. But these have gotten pretty tough. I was last time I sold these codes, they were like two, three bucks a piece for these. You know, for a while there, and you could get these things. I remember it was a St. Patrick's Day sale. You could get the three pack blisters for like three bucks a piece or something. I mean, it was something really, really low. But as you can see, there's no codes that come in here, so you could only get one code per three pack blister. Got the admin, there's the other admin, Aaron, Puccina, Carvana. There's the reverse holo Team Magma Secret Base and got a second Team Aqua's Walren. And if I remember correctly, there are only five different holographic cards. Like I said, I could be mistaken, but I think there's only five. So seeing a duplicate, you know, it's, I mean, that's pretty much about expected. One more pack. One more pack. It's one, two off the back. Let's see if we can have some last pack magic. Magma Pointer. Got the Grunt, Carvana, Grimer, Mightyena, I like that. Got Claydol, and oh, we got one! Team Magma's Groudon EX. We put this sucker in a sleeve. There we go. Of course, the front's gonna look good. Let's look at the back side. A little white dot there, a little white dot there, and a white dot there on the bottom, too. So, I mean, this is gonna be. Uh, I don't see this getting a 10. It's probably about an 8. Uh, maybe because the front is so good. It's got so much going on. You know, it could slip in, slip by with a 9. But very nice. These cards have gotten a lot more scarce. Okay, so normally this is where I would end the video, but I'm I'm gonna show I'm gonna open up this pack right here. I think this is supposed to be heavy. I don't really know. I kind of bought it in a lot of other cards, and I weighed it out. And it, it's got a good heavy weight to it, but I have light packs that weigh more than this, so I don't want to get conscience uh, sell this out as a heavy pack. And um, and if it is heavy, who knows? Maybe we'll pull that Zard. And if it's not, then at least I know I didn't sell it to somebody. I would notice I'm not using the scissors. I'm trying to learn how to open these packs up a little bit better preserve them as much as I can because I like keeping these things and I'm not reselling them myself. One, two, three, should be right there. It's looking awful flat. So it either is not a holographic card or is a very well preserved one. Okay, so we have Magnemite, Bill, Rattata, Squirtle got one of the starters Metapod Grass Energy Psychic Energy Pokemon Flute Nidorino and Energy Retrieval. Okay, so do we have the hollow? Ooh, it is a hollow holographic Clefairy. It's almost got like a hollow bleed kind of deal going on. Those of you who are familiar with it, you could you're probably picking up on it. And the fact that you can see it on camera. Let you know that it's pretty strong for me here in person, but the centering is off just a little bit. I'm not really seeing any print lines. She looks really nice. Wow. I'll definitely send this one off to PSA. The hollow bleed unfortunately does detract from the overall appeal, in my opinion. Then we have a white dot right there. Probably an eight or a nine. I would lean more towards a nine on that, but. It's a Watsy Hollow. Just about anyone can find an issue with any Wizards of the Coast printed Hollow. But anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. I'm very, very uh, appreciative of how well all of you responded in the comments for the cystic fibrosis. And because of that, I'm gonna open up something else that's in my personal collection in another video for next week while I'm on vacation. Might be the only video I have next week. It's this right here. It's got two expeditions, and if you guys remember when I when Luke visited, we opened up some of these, and this actually has the corrected cards inside of these Gym Challenge booster packs. So we have a chance at pulling the corrected Rockets Minefield, 
or even the Blaine's Charizard, that would be epic. But we may just pull three non-hollow rares, we never know. But I'm going to do that next video, probably right after this one, but it's not going to post hopefully until sometime next week. Thanks.